thing that's um, unique to the freshman class is this focus program where a student can um, look at, I think there's about a half a dozen different um, uh, themes, and they can say, I would like to be a part of that. And it's a residential living thing, but not exclusively. So let's say we were all going to be in the, the basket weaving um, focus program. It wouldn't be just us. It would be us who are interested in basket weaving and all these other students who are our roommates and our, our homemates and stuff like that. Did any of your um, uh, children participate in that? Tracy no. didn't? Tracy did uh, my, Yeah, mine did. She uh, did? My, yeah, Which she, one? She, she did uh, Exploring the Mind. Um, Miss Neuroscience, of course. Yes. Uh, <laughs> actually, in the one, you know, like yesterday, you know, Blue Devil Days, right? we came and uh, in, in, in uh, West Campus, we had the series of programs and demonstration what students can do. And she amazingly met one of the professors uh, who uh, it's, it's, it's drives the focus. And she got connected from the day one on the Blue Devil Days that she will try to get into the focus program with him, got his card and number, everything, and here she is. So, so again, being proactive, she made the connection when she was here on campus for, yes. for Blue Devil Days, and then she followed up. Yes. So back to your point of raise your hand, get in their face, exactly. you can make things happen. Mm -hmm. how, was, how was the experience? What exactly uh, happens? Oh, it, it was great um, because um, this is what she was trying to do, that getting the focus experience as well as getting the neuroscience and a uh, part of the pre-med requirement. So it serves three, you know, serves three purposes. So being a part of focus actually allows you to tick off one of your academic requirements? Yes. Ooh, just by living there? Yep. <laughs> I'm talking to my son. <laughs> I'm making a mental note. This sounds amazing because, you know, the more you can get off, oh, off the ledger because, mm -hmm. you know, when you get to the end of the line, as you know, your daughter, I'm sure, those last, uh, last semester or two, you're thinking, okay, how many hours do I have left? Mm -hmm. right. How many classes can yeah. I jam in? You don't, you don't want right. to make a misstep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, exactly. and mm -hmm. you know, I, it, it, it takes me to my college days, how sloppy I was planning, mm -hmm. versus I am seeing Payel, how she's doing uh, planning. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, this is, this, is, this is unique, you know. Mm -hmm. and she's a girl, you were a boy. <laughs> <laughs> that might explain a lot. As a mother of sons, I, I think I can yeah. see, am I right? Right, Wendy? <laughs> it's, it's a boy-girl thing in, oh in, in some respects. <laughs>